Well, Ranger Cookie, where you been, dude? It's been a while since you've been out here. Well, uh, I hate to say this, but the Ranger, the Ranger's channel is doing very good. Oh, look, look, look at that shadow. Whoa, look out backpack on me. So uh, I'm out here at the Fountain Blue State Park doing a test of my ultra light bag. What? Ranger Cookie, you got an ultra light bag. Yes, I do. I finally got one. Well, I've been having it. It's finally, I'm, I'm going to be using it because me and the bear is going to a, uh, we're going to do some backpacking. And I'm doing a test to make sure everything's there. Make sure it's not too heavy, not too light. Or, and it's very rare for me to carry a light bag. Did some moderations to it so I can carry extra gear. Gear I might not need. And that's why I'm going to go through it. There's a difference from backpacking. Come on, dog. You're just going too slow. There's a difference from backpacking, hiking, and... Big, big difference in both of them. And the big difference in backpacking and hiking. Okay, here in Louisiana, we only have like four or five places we can go backpacking. According to the, to the uh, survey, Fountain Blue, you can backpack. But there's no backpacking signs, no backpacking, nowhere's in Fountain Blue State Park. What are you doing looking at me? Look at these pretty trees. These are better looking than me. Look how pretty all these beautiful oak trees out here at Fountain Blue State Park. Some of these trees are pretty old. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you measure from this point to this point and, I, and you measure by inch and that's how many, year, how many years this tree is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's how we usually do. Look at this squirrel nest. Oh, he's building a little nest and he's eating his kerns. So I'm out here today. I'm doing a little uh, walkabout. Make sure this bag's not going to hurt me. Make sure it's comfortable. Uh, take out some weight if I have to. Uh, go through it and show you what's in it. Uh, my ultra light backpack. It's very rare for me to even have such a thing. And I think what's the heaviest thing in this thing is food and water. Everything else is just ultra light. I try to find some ultra light stuff that in a good price range. Oh, excuse me. So I can I can backpack it. Look how pretty these trees. Imagine that's one big tree. But over here, Louisiana, and in our state, our our state. A lot of people cut the trees out and brought it to the other country when we had that big fire on the other, our other country. We built boats out of it, then we took the lumber and we built uh, our homes, well, their homes, in the country that took all the wood from here. And this is very rare from them not to take all these trees. Then again, some of these are reborn, I mean regrown to the 1400s. So, so, I'm just, I'm not really good with history. I'm out here for enjoyment. I forgot what I was talking about. Ultra light bag, my first, this is my first ultra light bag. And I'm doing a test to make sure it's not hurting me. It's not going to do me no harm. Make sure I'm going to get rid of some stuff. Look at the squirrel, Derek. It's going to kill me. It's going to burn. <laughs> We're falling. So, yeah, I'm doing a test. Oh, this is spongy. My 10 foot of uh, padding. So we're gonna go over here at this uh, thing. I noticed the shoulder pads are hurting me because I know I got a lot of food and water in this thing. And I'm gonna go through it and make sure I don't have anything I don't have. Ah, there you go. He saw the squirrel. So I'm gonna go through it because there's difference from backpacking and hiking. Hiking, you just carry enough 
food and water just to get from point A to point B. But I'm going from point A, let's say I'm going through a trail, and in the trail I'm going to stop somewhere as to camp for that night, or maybe two nights, or three nights, and can, fit, can, can continue the trail and finish it and walk back to my vehicle. Or I can go out into the woods, find a camping spot, and walk back the same way I came. All it depends on the trail and location and what I want to do. Alright, I think that I'm going to park over here. I'm going to park right here at this, uh, this, uh, this, this one right here. I can put my camera right there and show you my gear. Alright, I'm going to do some tests. Whoa, that's not good. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. So I'm going to do a bunch of tests. Right now the shoulder strap is kind of hurting me because I know I got some weight in that thing. So that's the reason. I, and this is my first one. You see you, you're with me to see this. All right. So let's let's get to it. Let's get into this bag and see what it's all about first. This is a cool bag. I forgot it was the name. It has like three names to it or two. And what you do, you clip this on and you pull right here and it tightens it up. And right here. And like I said, there's a big difference in can uh, backpacking and hiking hiking is when you go from point A to point B whatever you go on point Z let's go ahead and give it a, a point A to point B and it's a 20 miles so you bring a light ass bag only thing you're going to carry is food and water and maybe a couple of supplies just in case you get lost hope no one gets lost All right, I'm going to put the dog over here. I'll be back. Cut! Action! All right, let's take this hat off. It's pretty hot out here, so... You have to bear with me sometimes, it's just the heat. Uh, Alright, the modifications I did to this bag. I put a rucksack, or Molly 2, uh, 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 bottom section on it. Now, I have a choice of two types of chairs, this type or the other type. I'm thinking about getting the other one. Alright, I got a little, well I call it the bush chair. For back support. So this chair right here is to lay on the sit on the ground or do whatever I want, have some back support. I have mosquito control, pair of gloves, a neck knife. A knife which I should take out and put on me so it won't be so heavy on my back. A flashlight. The battery should be turned around so it won't be used. But I'm glad I'm going through it because uh, in three days me and Bear is going out for a hike. Alright, there's a paper and I have no extra batteries in here. I always carry at least two light sources. Okay, 
Now here's an item I don't really need. I don't need a saw. Don't need it. So I'm going to take this out. And this little bitty pocket knife. I don't know if I even need it. But I have it just in case. Put on the side. Before I'm ready to go. I take every, all these items out. So I'm going to take this out completely. I'll, I'll put the knife on the side just to have it. Is uh, light my fire. So if I need a fire, I can. I got a couple ways of lighting fire when I'm out uh, when I do stuff like this, especially when I'm going somewhere that's never been before. So that yeah, basically we go in somewhere that we've never been before. Okay, side pouch. I have canteen with a little cup full of water let me double check make sure your water all right that's good Pouch is empty, and I got two containers of water. Here's my other container of water. I have a Sawyer, just in case you know I run out of water. I got a Sawyer. I don't know if this place even have creeks, bayous, or whatever. Don't know. The most heaviest thing, my food. One tarp, heavy duty tarp. Just in case shit hits the fan, I could have got a lighter tarp, but this heavy duty tarp don't weighs no more than like two pounds. Yes, I know weight matters. Weight does matter when you're backpacking. It's big difference in backpacking. I know I won't get rid of this because I don't think I'm going to be fishing anytime soon. So this is the just wait. A fishing kit. It's just wait in my book. I'm not going to fishing anytime soon. So that's another item I'm going to take out. It's a little bitty fishing pole. It's uh, like so. And got a little reel. And it's just a little uh, fishing pole. Like a pin. So that's two things I'm taking out that I don't need because I know I'm not going to fish. So those pouches are empty. Now let's go ahead to the next pouch. I have a bag cover to cover the whole bag in case it starts to rain. I have 50, 55, 50, uh, 50, 50 card to hang up my tarp. I have a gear hammock. I'm like, well, why did a gear hammock? I could take that out. So that's a, I, I, I could, it weighs no more than like, uh, not even a pound. So would it matter if I take it or not? I don't know. Towels and toilet paper, or you want to hand towels. My cook kit. I think one item needs to come out. I did a test with this and it works wonderful. 
so I might just leave it like it is. I'm just going ahead and leave it like it is. If I don't use it, I can always take it out and leave it. It's, uh, uh, you see what it is when I go, when me and Bear goes camping, you get to see me use this stuff. So I'm taking out the fishing pole and uh, the saw. I don't need a saw. All right, this is toilet paper and mosquito control items. Start my fire. I got a little cubelets. If I need a fire, I'm going to start a fire. All right, see, that's the original bag on this thing, and it's completely empty. And one thing I did is pull this little bitty flashlight. It's a rechargeable light. You just turn and it comes on. And the bottom part should be my sleeping uh, sleeping system. And I think I do need to take out one part out and put another part in. Like I said, the heaviest thing in this thing is my food and water. Everything else is lightweight. This should be my hammock and my sleep system. All right, we have one hammock, mosquito net, one sleep sleeping bag. Oh no, that's my under quilt for my sleeping bag. This is my sleeping bag. This should be my under quilt, if I'm not mistaken, for my hammock. And... Packable blanket. Where's my hammock? Oh, I got a hammock already. Heard. So I got... I got too many blankets. I got an underquilt. All right, yeah, all right. Now I never I always carry extra blanket because sometimes that sleeping bag gets in the wrong way when you're in a hammock. All right, the last pouch of my ultra light bag. A shitload of power paracord. I think I packed this stuff. You know that. And one poncho in case it rains because you're hiking you don't know what the weather's going to be and a couple of monkey balls for my tarp you just put it through the tarp and you less uh, le uh, leash it up so all this was in my bag and I didn't weigh it but I know my food weighs about 10 pounds water weighs about five pounds each. So if I use the food and water, unless it weighs. Cut, action. So this is all the stuff that's in this bag. Now I could change this one to a chair, which I think I am, because they both weighed about the same. And I'd rather have a chair than this thing. Um, the saw I'm gonna take out and the fishing kit I'm going to take out because I do not need that in my bag. But that's my ultra light bag. I can change this heavy duty tarp to another tarp, a lighter tarp. It's up to me if I wanted to do that or not. I might do that. I don't know. All right. There you go. There you have it. And the only thing I did to this bag, uh, this is the original right here. This is what it looked like. But I just added the B, the uh, the bottom part to it, and that's it. This is uh, my ultra light bag. Then a little flashlight hangs. That way, I I can find my bag. I got a little light, rechargeable too. All right, I'm ready to arrange your cookie. I'll see you next round. Oh my lovely, this is a horrible day. I gotta go make sure go through my food again make sure it's all not perishable or turn green on me so I have to go through my food 
I'm going to do that right after I leave you. I might change this tarp to a lighter tarp. Uh, I don't know, but I like this heavy duty tarp. Because being out in the middle of nowhere is, and you got this flimsy little tarp, almost something's going to withstand something. And there you go. That's my ultra light backpack. See you next video. Oh, Mama loves me. Look at Derg. Oh, Derg. Where's the crow? Get the crow, Derg. Poor oh, Derg. Oh, he's crying. Okay, bye bye. See y'all later. I hope you enjoy this one little uh, view of Fountain Blue State Park. See you next round.